Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how the uh, Shuttle Pro is set up for my laser. Uh, first, I set three buttons across the top for axis selection. So I can select X, Y, or Z. Selecting X allows you to do motion in the X axis. And of course, the other axes do the same thing. Next button I set up was a Home All button. Uh, this will home the X and Y axes just by clicking on it. And that zeroes the axes. Um, move it to the center a little here. I also have a zero all button which sets the um, work coordinates to zero zero which is a nice feature to have. Um, let me show how the um, some of the motion controls work on the pendant. Select the axis here. First of all you got uh, rapid movement with these outer two buttons um, and that's an optional setup. Then this is a spring-loaded dial that returns to center which allows a um, variable speed. So I can go slow, faster, allows very fine-tuned control. You can also spin the center button which very tiny, these are one thousandths of an inch motions per click. You can rapidly spin it or go slowly. So you've got three levels of control, very fast, variable, and very fine. The other buttons I've set up are cycle start, which will run your file, pause, which will stop in the file without losing um, coordination with the motors, and uh, stop. Um, I actually have that set for reset. So you click that, now the motors are unlocked. You click it and they're locked in again. Um, I set up this for uh, feed rate increase and this for feed rate decrease. Sometimes you're running a file and realize you can actually run a lot faster. You could click this and it'll move it up 10% per click. Same thing for down. The last one I set up was this one which is a um, shuttle uh, lock. So I click that. Now these buttons are all deactivated which is nice that you don't um, mess up your work. So uh, I find it very handy. I've used it on my router a long time and I decided to try it on my laser and it works great.